Hi, my name is Kathy. I am the co-founder of Spouts of Water, a ceramic water filter manufacturer in Uganda that manufactures affordable and effective water filters. Um, I started Spouts in 2010 as a conceptual idea, uh, engineered the project, um, started production in 2012, um, started sales in 2015, and today we are selling more than 800 filters per month. Clean drinking water is a huge problem in, in Uganda, um, similar to the rest of the region, but about 30%, or 10 million Ugandans, lack access to clean drinking water. Uh, as a result, uh, diarrheal diseases remain the number one cause of death for children under the age of five, and $170 million are lost annually due to loss of productivity and healthcare costs. And so it's this huge problem in Uganda, and whereas in the US you have Brita filters, um, where almost one in five households had a Brita filter at one point, um, and tap water is safe to drink, and you got on the filters were nowhere to be found. And so uh, the idea was to locally manufacture water filters that would be both effective and affordable in the region. Well, the prize does a couple of things for the project. Financially, um, it means we can accomplish four different things. One is we can expand our current production process and, and move to a new site. Um, and this will allow us to immediately double our production capacity from 800 to 1,500 filters per month, but in the long run have the capacity to manufacture 10,000 filters. Uh, we're also able to introduce new, two new product lines, um, which will allow us to diversify our product portfolio, accessing um, more people. And three, we will be able to expand our current filters for school project, where we do installations in schools and provide trainings to both um, to all students, teachers, and parents um, on the importance of clean drinking water. Um, besides the fun, um, having or being here has been a great experience connecting with the other finalists, um, seeing what other people are doing in different regions of the world, and also meeting people who are genuinely interested in the work that we're doing and, and knowing that the, you know, our project is not an isolated bubble in Uganda um, where every day I'm just sitting in front of a computer or, or making filters, but there's a greater community out there who is interested in the work that we're doing. So our filters are distributed across multiple channels and this allows us to gain access to the entire Ugandan community as opposed to just people living in urban areas. So in Kampala or other uh, large urban centers, we do sell through supermarkets and traditional retail channels. Uh, but the further um, inside the country, into the countryside you go, um, we work with these small groups. Um, generally, they are women's savings groups where they'll collect money on a monthly basis to, to save up money to make a large purchase. Uh, what we do is we work with uh, partner organizations, but sometimes we do the work directly ourselves to train these women on financial literacy and to encourage them to, uh, to purchase our filters by making monthly payments. And so we do work with closely with organizations to, um, to really get this element of microfinance in, into the project.